mean, where do we go as a country and what do we do to curb gun violence? Is the answer gun control or, I mean, what, what do we do as a... Well, I wish people would be as thoughtful in trying to respond to your question as the question was. I mean, we do have a culture of gun violence and people sometimes have a tendency to focus on the guns. And there's a lot of us that think that some background checks should be at gun shows ought to be part of it. But I think there are bigger issues involved. I think there is a culture of gun violence. Uh, turn on your television, uh, go uh, uh, to the internet, and the games are all around violence. Uh, we also have a huge problem when it comes to, you take a look at the profiles of these individuals responsible for these horrific evil acts. There are probably some serious mental health problems. People have been talking about mental health and the challenges. I was on the Virginia Tech panel. That's back in 2005 and 6. We raised the issue of mental health back then. People have been talking about it. That's a serious condition in our society and we don't put the resources directed toward it. So I think we need to pull back, take a look at it holistically, take a look at the culture, take a look at mental health, and take a look at you know, some of the other conversations and some other uh, remedies that people are talking about. We've got to get away from uh, just looking at one answer to the problem. But I think at the heart of it, a lot of it has to do with the failure to provide appropriate mental health to a lot of people. Senator Pat Toomey has pushed legislation unsuccessfully a couple times trying to expand background checks along with Joe Manchin. Yep. Do, you, uh, do you support Senator Toomey's legislation? Yeah, you know, I haven't seen the legislation, but I'll tell you, you know, NRA was a strong supporter of mine for a long time, and, uh, um, and they got a lot of members in PA. And my members, friends of mine in NRA, uh, the ones I pull, the ones I check, uh, background checks, particularly, particularly, at gun shows, nobody has a problem with that. The challenge becomes, and here's where you need serious conversations, uh, because of you don't want firearms into people's hands uh, with a, a mental illness. But there's an element of privacy there, which conflicts potentially with the First Amendment, with a with a uh, an amendment right. Excuse me about that, with a constitutional right. So I think the conversation has to go uh, a lot further than just looking at gun ownership because it's much more complicated than that, although that's a part of it, and background checks are a part of it. What's your big takeaway from the midterm, and also someone brought up gerrymandering. Um, Republicans can't control the PA House and Senate, and they're the folks who are going to have a hand in uh, theoretically redrawing the districts once the data for the census comes in next go around. So where do you think that leaves us in terms of these congressional districts? Well, first of all, we now have a House and Senate. We had it before Republicans. We got a Democrat governor. You know, I've got a little lobbying group, a rich policy group, where you deal with both. I'm hopeful that now that the elections were over, both Republicans and Democrats can work together. Uh, let's do the budget. Let's address some of these serious issues. Let's do it together. Uh, the election's over. People won. Now that you've won, let's govern. That's the first thing. Uh, and uh, I think the next challenge after the census will be uh, redistricting. And I think there will be a lot of pressure to uh, to do it, I don't want to say responsibly because it is a little political process, but it's obviously the Supreme Court is taking a look at how we've jiggered some of these uh, really, really convoluted congressional districts and I hope that we're a little bit more responsible and can find common ground to create sensible, sensible districts so that nobody is disenfranchised. That's what happens in some of these districts. They're so, they lean so way, so far in one direction or another so Republican or so Democrat that somebody registered on the other side feels, oh, my vote really doesn't count very much. So hopefully they can build districts where everybody feels that their vote counts, and I think we'll get more participation in the process of governing if we do.